What's up, Chris Lyle, South Carolina Gun School, out here at Train and Learn 2024, talking to Trayvon Barber, Barber Training Solutions, correct? Yes, sir. All right, and he's also South Carolina native, right up the road from me, Rock Hill, South Carolina. So if you want another instructor, I tell people all the time, don't just limit yourself to one instructor. Yes, sir. You need to experience other instructors. You might find something that they're doing a little bit different to help you understand it a little bit better. Uh, Cause that's one thing I try to do is go and experience other instructors out here. You get to experience other instructors. Every year I've come to it, it's always yes, a different instructor. And I think that's another great thing about this event is you get some of these events, you go and it's the same instructor all the time. So being able to experience this. And let me tell you, if you're wanting, cause you also teach everyday citizens. Yes, sir. And you also teach competition stuff. Yes, sir. Um, I will tell you, if you want to get into the competition side of it, this is the man. I appreciate okay? it. Uh, and I'll go ahead, and I know I've already told him, and I'm not trying to say this to scare anybody, but that's that's what, this is what you got to have. He made me feel like I had no clue what I was freaking doing yesterday. <laughs> but it's like we talked about at the end. You you asked me, he's like, so what's the problem? Yes, sir. And I, it, I tell my students, get out of your comfort zone, and I stay in my comfort zone. He pushed me way way out of my comfort zone i thought i'd been working some speed stuff and then i got out there with him and i'm like oh, man i'm slow as hell but absolutely phenomenal phenomenal instructor i'm hoping we can maybe work something out have you come in because i've had a lot of my students asking about more of the competition stuff yes, sir. we can definitely do to that. be able to to let them experience that and stuff but even even if we don't get it worked out this year He's right up the road from me, and it's not far at all whatsoever. Get out there. Um, how did you get into everything? Because I know everybody's all got, we've all got our little starting point right. and stuff. How did you end up getting into everything? Uh, so guns were never part of my family or friends group. It just wasn't a thing. Uh, but I was always interested in guns. So when I turned 21, I went and purchased uh, a handgun. And I realized I sucked. So, <laughs> and I, which, which, and that's that's the other thing. I don't mean to stop you there. That's the other thing. Don't be intimidated when you hear firearms instructors. We've all started. We that we were, and I was talking about it with uh, Lewis. We weren't born firearms instructors. We didn't come out that way. We've all had our starting points. So don't be intimidated when you when you hear that. I know I try to lean a little bit more toward coaching i think some other people do that but you see we've all started somewhere we've all started somewhere so picked it up realized you sucked and yeah. then where'd uh, you end up at well i was uh i wrestled since i was five all the way through college um so i had technique and you build on technique you build skill you build speed you build power and, uh, after that i still had the competitive itch so i knew there had to be some sort of technique for shooting I looked it up on YouTube because right then I was right out of college. I didn't have any money to pay an instructor. Right, right. I just found a guy named Robbie Latham. He's a I know, yep, champion. yep, Rob. So I was, watched him go over grip and stance and press mm -hmm. the trigger. I got good very quickly because I'm learning online from a you know, world-class shooter. Um, and seeing that he was a competition guy, I looked up competitions in my area. One happened to be 10 minutes away. Hey, can't and, beat uh, that. Ran down the rabbit hole from there. Awesome, awesome. And... Yeah, Rob Latham is, I love watching his videos, man. He is, he's a trip. He is, oh, yeah. a, he is a trip. And just some of his philosophies behind stuff mm -hmm. are very, to me, I think, unique in this industry. You know, because I was one that I watched, and he was like, pretty much like, Amy's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> and That's I'm sitting thing. there like, wait a minute, what, then am I teaching my students wrong? But it's like he said, he goes, but I'm not going to go and teach a new shooter. Hey, right. bullshit. Yeah. He's like, you still got to learn those fundamentals, but watching what he did when he talked about it and then ran it and then walked up and seeing, walking up and seeing that shot group. And I'm like, God dang. Yep. But it's, it's what I try to help more people to understand. We're no better than you sitting there watching this right now. It's putting in the work. Yes, sir. Putting in the work. You got to put in that work. If you put in that work, it will help. YouTube videos help, but as you see, he got to a point where it's like, all right, I need to get out and mm -hmm. experience more than just don't limit yourself to the YouTube video. Go to, And don't be scared to go to a competition. Yeah. That's what I tell people all the time. You know, I get a lot of my students like, what can I do to kind of continue this and be able to go to myself? I'm like, go to a competition. Oh, yeah. I'm like, you ain't got to be the 
perfect shooting and go out there. And one thing I experienced with my first, just going to one, everybody is willing to answer questions from your top level shooter all the way down. It, it's just the camaraderie and how everybody helps everybody. It's, it's just Everybody's crazy. Everybody's there to have fun and get better. Right, and you, and it's, it's funny, when I was watching it, as I, saw, I saw a group of them, they're all walking through it, talking about how they're gonna run it, but they're competing against each other. Yep. And it, it was funny, the, the one of the first ones out of the group ran it, and I can't remember exactly where it was. It wasn't really he messed up, it was just something that they talked about, about a mag change to certain spots. Mm -hmm. And you see everybody over there like, Oh no, we need to do this, this, and this. Yeah. So it's it's great. Experience competitions. Go to instructors. You know, YouTube videos are great, but it's it's like uh, Amari talked about. That's exposure. Yes. That's exposure. That's not the final be all end all to the YouTube video. Because I'll be honest, I've I've been taking Brazilian Jiu, Jiu Jitsu. I've been in it about a year now. Got my first stripe a couple of months ago. Congratulations. So, it, thank you, man. Thank you. 65 pounds down. So, it's, it's been really great for me. But one was to get in better shape. Two was to be able to provide better training options for my students. Yes, sir. Because we talk about, I do mainly close quarter stuff. And sometimes a violent situation might be at this distance where you're not going to get your gun out. Yes. You're not going to have that time. And you're going to have to go hands on. And, but I've always watched those videos and watched those techniques, and it's like, okay, yeah, I got that, I got that. But then you get out there on the mat, and it's like, no, I ain't got that. <laughs> and it's it's a just, bit different. it is, it's a little bit different. But same thing, I think, with watching, you watch the YouTube videos, you go out and practice, but then you get in a class, and it's like, well, maybe that I don't have it 100%. Right. And like I talked with Lewis with TAC Response, he was like, you know, I came in and took the five-day course. I'll get everything I need in the five days. He's like, all right, and then he signed up for their year training. He's like, I didn't get everything in that year training. It's, <coughs> it's continuing and continuing and continuing and continuing. So for my students that are out there following me and watching this, he's right up the road. We're going to work. I'm going to get him into my place down there. And if you want to get into that competition side of it or just get the experience to see what it's like, he's the guy to go to. If you want just to conceal carry EDC, get a little bit more comfortable with it, confident with it, he's the guy to go to. So I appreciate that, man. And this is your first year out here. Yes, sir. Instructor, you know, some of like like Amari, I know he came in as an attendee, then a speaker and stuff. What do you think about this event? I think it was a great event. I am not a I'm not a social butterfly. Any of my friends and family can tell you that. I'm not the guy that's uh that's typically in the spotlight. But uh, when he invited me to come teach, I immediately said yes. I, I heard about the event. Some of my friends have been to the event before. Um, I just saw it as an opportunity to meet new people, teach. And uh, when I got here, it was awesome. Getting to meet a whole bunch of people from different states, different areas. Yes. Uh, getting to kind of open eyes to a different world of shooting a handgun. Right, and, right. Uh, it's been a great event. I had a great time. Yeah, your movement thing had me all discombobulated yesterday. <laughs> But when, it, it's, when we get together again, you'll have it down fast. But it's it's you're looking to be how can I be more efficient? Yes, and that's one thing that I've really looked or noticed with the competition is how can I be more efficient? And it's just those little things that you talked about. And I understood them. And even I even had you. Have, I had I was like, you, I, let me video this. And you did. It, and I'm like, one more time. And I was sitting there last night, laying in the bed, and I'm just sitting there watching that video over and over and over and over again. Yeah, I'm like, me that video. I'm like, man, how did? Uh, he's like, because that was, that's what I was telling him because he was getting ready to come out there. I'm like, mm -hmm. it's, it's, and he was, he was even talking about it last night riding back. He's, like, he said everything was great. I enjoyed it, but he said what I did with Trayvon was just at the at the top. I appreciate and, that. I mean, he's KD will tell you with with him. From where he came from to where he's at now has just been a phenomenal change. He's been out here last year with me, this year with me, helping me out. You know, I've been talking to him about becoming an instructor and stuff and getting into it. And that way we can kind of start offering more classes and everything. So we'll we'll see where everything goes. But it's because of things like this right here. Yes, sir. So, like I said, if you're in the industry, this is the event. If you're looking to get in the industry, this is the event. This gives you... To me, the whole experience from the business side of it 
to the training side of it to the shooting side of it and that way I think the person can experience it and say, well, maybe it's it's not quite for me. Mm -hmm. So they can find something that matches their, their niche. Right, right. So I appreciate you taking the time, man. Appreciate you. Barber Training Solutions, LLC.com, correct? Just Barber Training Solutions.com. Barber Training Solutions.com. I'll have that down in the description. So if you want to go in and check out, um, or if you're somewhere out there and you're looking for somebody to teach your students, competition stuff you travel as well too correct yeah, travel anywhere so long as i can get eight to twelve students there you go so it's not just limited he's not just limited to south carolina which i think most of the instructors out here aren't just limited to their state right we will travel to you as long as you've got a safe place to shoot we will travel to you and please folks again 20 or train and learn is where you want to be these are the kind of people that you want to be working with i've learned so much all the way around and always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.